Hello, dear students. Hello, lovely students. I am Miss Hannah at Kyrgyz Private School. I am about to explain science for you. The topic is about change in matter. Before I start to explain it, I want you to bring your book and listen carefully. Change in matter. From the vocabulary, we have some new words. We need to know them. They are what? Fusion, freezing, condensation, evaporation, mixture. And here I will tell you how water can change. Before I tell you how water can change, can you tell me how many state of matter do we have? Because I've explained it before, the holiday from the previous lesson, so you have to know them. Solid, gas, liquid. Good. Water can be a solid gas or a liquid so water itself is what a liquid if i ask you give me an example for water as a solid what will you say ice or snow what about water as a gas is water vapor here we have a picture and from this picture, heat from the earth is changing water from one state into another. What is fusion? The change from a solid to a liquid is called fusion. When does ice fuse? Ice is water in its solid state. When ice is heated, it fuses and changes to a liquid. Okay, I'm going to explain this. What do we mean by this? Look at the picture because the pictures are the most important things. We can understand it. So, through the picture, I'm going to explain it. Look at it. We have ice and the ice melted. As you see, the ice melted because of the sun's heat. On the ground, we have drop of water. So, solid changed to liquid. So, we call it what? Fusion. This is what? Fusion. If I ask you, this picture is a picture of what? You have to know. Fusion. What's evaporation? The change of state from liquid to gas is called evaporation. What makes liquid water change into a gas? When water gets hot enough, it boils. When water boils, it evaporates and it will change to water vapor. And we need to know what do you mean by this. Look at the picture. We have a kettle on the stove. And fire under it. Inside the kettle, we have water. And when the water gets hot enough, it boils. It will change to what? What a viper. It will change to what? Gas. Liquid inside the kettle and gas outside the kettle. So this is called evaporation. What's freezing? The change of water from liquid to a solid is called freezing. What else can change the state of water? Cooling can change the state of water. When water is cold enough, it freezes or becomes a solid. We call it ice. And now you can do it at home. Bring a container and put water inside it and put it in your fridge and you will see it after four or five hours, it will change from liquid to solid. It will become ice. 
what's condensation? The change of water, sorry, the change of matter from gas to liquid is called condensation. It's called condensation. But here, listen carefully because I've told you something else and it's reverse with condensation. So which state F? A matter that I've explained is a reverse with condensation. Evaporation. Think about the kettle. We put liquid inside it and gas come out. But here we will say it will change from gas to liquid. So I want you to know whenever I said the change of matter from gas to liquid, you will say A, eh, it's what? We call it condensation. But if I say liquid to gas, liquid to gas, so we will say evaporation. So they are reverse. Okay? I want you to know it. How did the cloud form? Clouds are formed of water, droplets, and may fall as rain. Look at the picture. We have what? As you know, when the gas rise up to the sky, we will see the clouds. And after the clouds, rain will falls down. And as you see from this picture, we have a boy. He's carrying an umbrella because he won't get wet because of the rain. Till this slide, I've explained change in matter. But now I will talk about other ways matter changes. Here what we have cutting and shaping matter, mixing matter, burning and cooking, and bending. We need to know what do you mean by this. So I'm going to explain it one by one. Cutting. When you have a loaf of bread and bring a knife and cut it into slices, so the slices have a different shape from the loaf, but they're what? They're the same bread, no matter you have a small slice or big. So they're from what? They're from the loaf of the bread that we have. Bending. Bending is another way you can change the shape of matter. When you have a dough, your mom is about to make a circle and you like to make a heart, the shape of heart. So no matter which shape you like to make it, but you will bring out the shape, these different shape from what? Dough. So it's still what? It's still the dough because any shape that you bring it out from uh, the lump, of the dough, it will not change the dough. It's still the dough. Okay, what about mixture? It's something made up of two or more, more kinds of things. You can mix some kinds of things and then separate them. Look at the third picture, what we have. We have a container. We mix up three different kinds of things marbles, clip paper, and sand. We mix them together and we can separate them. We can separate them. Each thing would still be the same as it was before. When you separate the sand from the other mixture that you have, so the sand will change to another thing like a rock, like stone. No! It is still the sand that we had. What about burning? Cows wood to change to ashes, gases, and smoke. The ashes, gases, and smoke cannot change back to wood. So we need to know what to mean by this. When you bring a log when of wood, so you'll burn it when you burn it it will change to ashes so can we reverse it the ashes to the wood it was before 
absolutely not because when we burn it the wood change to ashes gases and smoke we cannot change it back to wood and from the second picture cooking makes an egg change from a liquid to a solid it also changes the egg's color texture and taste here like the wood i've talked about it from burning we said when you burn the wood we cannot change it back to the way it was before because we will get what another things like ashes gases smoke but here when you cook a raw egg so you cannot change it back a cooked egg cannot be changed back to a raw egg and we reach this page this is the last page of this chapter review we have a three picture the first one we have burning wood so it will change to ashes gases and smoke and i've told you we cannot change it back to the wood because we burn it the second one we have kettle on the stove and we uh, uh, put fire under it and when the water gets hot enough it will change to gas and i've told you liquid to gas we call it evaporation that smoke we have the white smoke that comes out from the kettle we call it water viper the third picture we have a plate with different kinds of fruit so we call it what mixture here we will answer each question in the following space we have a three picture a b c and three questions with the first one which picture shows a fusion and i've told you that fusion changing matter from solid to liquid and i've told you because of the sun's head it will melt and tell me a is a correct answer say yes or no no c is a correct answer no so b is our correct answer what about the second one the second one which picture shows a mixture you have to know it's very easy see because we have so many different kinds of fruit which picture shows condensation so a is a correct answer condensation happens when gas will change to liquid gas will change to liquid dear student hope you all get benefit from it i hope you all got the information that i gave you and have a great time bye